Hi guys, Lambo Rock Structure once again. I'm here to review on Joker, directed by Todd, Todd Phillips, as his name is. Yeah, Todd Phillips. Tells the story of Arthur, this is basically the origin story, how he became the Joker that we all know and love. Basically, he's trying he, to have some few jobs and then he couldn't do it. Then he worked in a, like a hospital, and then he got fired for bringing a gun to the hospital, the kids' hospital thing. And then, um, basically, um, he meet up with this woman, and then basically they like each other, and then he has to, then joke, then Arthur lives with his, with his sick mom, his, his old, his mom was very old, and then basically he became the Joker and he joined the show, and that's basically the plot, I can describe the plot is. Now, to let you guys know, Joker is, is one of the most iconic Batman villains of all time, he is so damn popular. Joker is on anything, to t-shirts, to socks, to, um, to marks, to anything to do with Joker, because Joker is the most popular villain, Batman villain of all time. I mean, he was great in, Joker's awesome in the 1989's Joker. I actually really liked the Joker in The Dark Knight. I thought he was outstanding in that film. Heath Ledger was, was brilliant as the Joker in that movie. There's even uh, Mark Hammond as Joker. That's why right, the Mark Hammond played Joker in the Batman animated series. And there's Joker in the Lego Batman movie, which I forgot the actor's name is. I can't believe you know, if you know the actor who played uh, Joker in the Lego Batman movie. I thought he was great in that film. The Joker in Suicide Squad was underrated. I know get the I don't get the hate that film, but on that, he was an alright Joker. And um and we have lots and lots of Jokers. Even the Joker from the Lego Batman games, from Lego Batman 1 and Lego Batman 2. For the, for the video game, for the Wii, Xbox, PlayStation, etc. Well, which I have those games. Honestly, I have yet to pick up the, the third LEGO Batman game. I'll hope to get that game pretty soon. But other than that, just listen to me a few hours ago. I know you expect to see, I just saw Joker say to my review. I just forgot to do that. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to do that video. I normally do it every time I go to see a film. So I got back from seeing it from the cinema. I haven't seen a film in cinema since Angry Birds Movie 2. I took a break from the cinema until this movie came out. But now I'm back to see another movie in cinemas. One of this movie? I think it's an amazing, brilliant masterpiece. The story was terrific, the characters are great. This movie is definitely not for kids. So, yeah, this is definitely not a kids movie. Now, before I carry on, Robin Rotter from Lazy Town wants to say a little song about this movie. Don't let your kids watch it. Yep, parents, if you watch this, this is not for kids. Just give your kids a babysitter and go see this movie yourself. This is definitely not for kids. It is rated R. It's a hard R. It's rated R. There is blood, violence, even swearing in this movie. Uh, it doesn't affect me because I'm actually, I'm used to this kind of stuff, but who cares? This is the second 15 movie I saw in cinemas. First being Venom. This is the second 15 movie I saw in cinemas. I have to say, Joker's Phoenix is terrific as the Joker. This is the best Joker since Heath Ledger's Joker. I'm so excited to hear your thoughts inside a fan and Harry Thomas pictures. I'm really looking forward to checking out your review. That would be fantastic. So, yeah, I had a really good time. This is a fantastic movie. And this is definitely now my second favorite movie of 2019. Mama One being Avengers Endgame. Let's see if Star Wars Episode 9 can top up that he's my favorite film this year. Well, we'll wait and see. Overall, I'll give this movie a 50 out of 10. It's an amazing, brilliant masterpiece. Before I end this video, if you're wondering what trailers I got when I saw this movie, I got three trailers. And they are Terminator Dark Fate, Star Wars Episode 9, and Countdown. It's a horror movie, if you guys are wondering what the countdown even means, the, the trailer. Those are the uh, the trailers I got. My next video is hopefully ex Terminator Dark Fate, we'll see, depends on the reviews. I know Genesis got bad reviews back in, came out in 2015. I'll be seeing Frozen 2 and Star Wars, and that's all the films I'm going to see this year until the 2010 decade come to a close. And point this video, thank freaking God I didn't get the Sonic movie trailer. Thank God for that, because this is rate 15, I want to get the Sonic movie trailer. Thank God for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I might review Eagle. I'm planning to review that film today, but I didn't get the chance to. I want to review Eagle. Stay tuned for, for, that, for my thoughts on that movie. I still enjoy your test day. Stay tuned with you on Eagle. And um, yeah, that's my next with you. And maybe another rant. We'll see. So thank you guys for watching my video on Joker. Goodbye.